G'day and welcome back. What I'm going to show you right now is how to actually create some really cool characters within Scratch so that we're not stuck with the usual boring sprites. So what we're going to do in a second is upload a sprite. But in order to do that, we need to make sure we're uploading the correct file type. And I'll give you a few tips on how to do that. So first of all, we might choose a character that we want to import into um, our Scratch. So I might choose Bowser and I'll search Vector. Vector just means it's going to give me um, a certain type of image that is easier to copy. What I'm really looking for is something with a white background. Uh, so something like this, so this guy here. And I'm going to click on there. And if I was to just copy this one here, if I go save image, or if I open link, let's go from here. What I'm going to do is right click and save image as. So I want to save the image without the uh, the blocks behind it, which you might have seen. So I've got a PNG image here, and that should just be Bowser right there. Let's have a look what this image looks like. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to try and import this image and see how we go. Upload Sprite. We'll go down to the bottom. And what does this look like? Not too bad. Awesome. And now we have a character right there. If I go to costumes, I can move, see what uh, different parts there are. I wonder if we can break it up. That's no, all good. This image is ready to go. If I wanted to take another step and make this even better, let's have a look what happens when we convert this image that we just downloaded into what's known as an SVG file. So I've got this program here that's going to let me change an image into a vector image. And this might work out as well if you have a photo you might want to try. So I'll choose my file, which should just be my downloads. All right, down here, choose Bowser, and there he is. You'll notice the black, the gray and white squares in the background. That just shows that there's no background image. But when we generate this into an SVG, it's essentially allowing us to move and edit each of the lines. So it's going to come out. It's going to look quite similar. A little bit different with the colors, but that's fine. And let's see what happens when we now import this image into here. So we've got an SVG file. It's this one here. This should be slightly different. Okay. So it's bigger, but that's fine. Let's make it just slightly bigger. When we go to costumes, oh, actually, now I can actually change the colors. And I can actually have much more power in editing my character. So that's the power of having a vector SVG. It's not necessary, but if you wanted to make some changes rather than just having, if we look at this, this will move all together. Whereas when we have a vector, we can actually edit each individual part. I might just say, actually, today I want Bowser to be a little bit darker in that sense. A bit more power there. All right, see how you go. See if you can import an image. See if you can then convert it into an SVG. And see if you can start making some pretty cool characters that you can give your own touch to.